Welcome to the 15th episode in our tutorial series and in this episode we will add some additional um, options in regards to the position. So in the entity class .h we already can set the position uh, but I want to implement two others uh, also, well at least for now, namely rotation and scale. Now scale is the easiest one uh, and we can do that with a uh, vector tree. So vector tree underscore scale. And um, I'll show you that in a bit. But the more interesting one will be definitely a rotation. So for the rotation, we'll also use a vector tree. Now, uh, in 2D, a rotation is simple. And we can use a single uh, floating point variable to store it. But in 3D, we need three floating point variables, namely for the the, uh, the yaw, the pitch and the roll. With those three set we can define any rotation in 3D space, which again I'll show you in a bit now. Uh, let's create two more getter and setters. Here are the getter and the setters. Uh, we won't add anything to the constructor because we we won't actually set the, uh, the, the scale and rotation so often, so we don't need them in the uh, constructor. Now I'll switch to the .cvp file and implement uh, our getters and setters. They are quite straightforward, so, so there should be no real problem. Um, then we should also initialize them with something um, to make sure we never get anything uh, inappropriate. So simply do scale make vector tree. Now for the scale, um, I actually recommend what you do everywhere you do uh, one, because one means that uh, th that there is no scale change, whereas zero would mean that. The object doesn't even exist. Well, yeah, that. Well, you'll see that that there is simply no object. I guess. Well, uh, and then rotation. I uh, simply do make vector three and zero everywhere. So like this. Okay. Now let's implement rotation and scaling in our render system. Uh, so make sure to do uh, both of them after the uh, translation. I ex I'll explain why later. Okay, so simply type uh, gl rotate and use the f version, so rotate f, and then our angle. So do entity get rotation, and we want um, the first one, so x, which is the yaw. Uh, and the yaw is the rotation around around the z. So we simply do the following: we do uh, zero zero on both of the um, x and y, and we do uh, one for the f. Now, only one of these three can be anything bigger than zero, and um, and the one that is bigger or different from zero is the one uh, access to which the t transformation will be applied. So if we, if we give, uh, so if two of these arguments will be different from zero, I guess the function won't work. I'm not sure, but yeah, it doesn't matter. Now let's uh, simply copy this three times like this and then. So now our pitch, which is a which is the transformation around the around the y-axis and our row which is the transformation around the x-axis and it's that simple so now uh, our scale now I said that, that uh, we should uh, that the uh, that the default initialization should be should always be one uh, because 
this actually works by a multiplication. So if we multiply by zero, we actually find no scale. Yeah, it's kind of strange. But yeah, uh, the default, so no scale change should always be one. Uh, so simply do scale entity, entity get scale underscore x and entity get scale underscore y and entity get scale underscore z and I haven't changed this to z in the rotation okay and that was our implementation in the render system now let's try this out uh, simply do entity and set oh let's first uh, set the rotation and let's say rotation make vector 3 um, and this works in degrees remember so say 30 degrees around the uh, around the z-axis and do 0 0 for the rest and just let's set scale of also, scale um, set scale and make vector three, um, and then say like two and everything. So two and everything is two times the size. Okay, so let's run this, and you can see that our thing is actually kind of okay. Uh, by the way, I just noticed that. Uh, go to the Get Game Manager and do JLF window. Sorry, JLF window. Int JLF underscore resizable and set JL underscore false. We don't want our window to be resizable. Uh, I forgot this, I'm very sorry for that. But no problems. Okay, so if you run this now, well, you can see it's rotated 30 degrees and that um, it is kind of scaled. Now, if we change this again, so say, say let's also give this a, a pitch of minus 20. Again, it's now a little bit transformed again. So, and say we want three times the size. So then change everything to three on the set scale. And it will be even bigger. Okay. Now, uh, what if we give it a scale of three on the uh, X but the rest will stay at one then we get like it will be longer on the X but it will be as big on the Y and Z and again we can, can make it also bigger on the uh, on the Y and it will look like a I don't know well yeah I was like difference Okay, now, um, one small thing, our position, if we change our position to the origin, so simply give it 0, 0 everywhere, it looks like this, and now it's kind of clipping, that's no problem. Uh, change the scale back to 1, there's one more thing I want to show you. Okay, so now um, we simply rotated our cube. Now notice that if I just say give it a 1 on the Y, it will move up like we expected to move up. So nothing special. Now go to your render system, CPP, and say and now take uh, the part where we, we do the 
uh, rotation and paste it before the part where you do the translation. So like this. And now you see something different. Um, because what's happening now is, and you actually aren't seeing it as well as I would like to. Um, okay, so one minute. I return to your game manager. And um, let's uh, turn it like let's turn it like 90 degrees on or like maybe just 20 degrees on on the yaw so just give it like 20 here and you can see it kinda does not appear where we expect it to appear it should appear like like right above us so here but it's appearing like slightly to the to the left so if we give it like even more like 90 it appears here. So why is that now? There is something called an order of, of transformation. And um, so the transformation that, that we perform first actually matters. So because we perform our, our rotation first, our objects first get rotated and then only um, will get moves. So translated, but it will get translated according to the coordinate system that, that was defined by the rotation and that can be kind of confusing so it's always best to first perform a translation and only then the rotation so if you move this around and it doesn't matter when we do scale I prefer to do it as last and now it's like we expect it to be so it's first gets translated and then it gets rotated. So it's very important in what order do the um, transformations. Now actually scale does play a role. Um, maybe in our example it's not that significant. Um, but yeah, just make sure it's the last one you do. So always to, um, you scale as last. Then um, well, for some examples, maybe you would want to do the rotation first and then only our translation. But in our game, I'll try to I'll try to to always use this this method. Now, uh, next episode, we will implement a movement system. So yeah, see you next time.